what was one of the biggest challenges when you're looking to scale a team in terms of finding the right talent? Like, and what, what types of functions? The reason I want to ask is because Denver is a, a completely different environment than Houston, particularly as it pertains to um, like tech talent. Um, but I think also just with everything that's going on with COVID, you got a whole lot of people out of out of work. You've got certain people being laid off. You got a lot of people just in that weird position. So I'm kind of curious as to you know what were the challenges that you guys faced. Um, unfortunately, uh, the new world order has trained people that everybody can work remote. So all of a sudden, yeah. when we were competing as a startup, we were competing in Denver, and um, now startups in Boston can compete for Denver talent. And that, that's just, you know, I think on the engineering side, that's always been sort of a way of thinking, but I think this really solidified that not only can your engineering team work remote, but everybody can work remote. And so we felt that we were in a really good position because everybody wants to live in Denver. People love Colorado. We could move people. We wouldn't even have to pay to move people to Colorado. Like, Hey, come work for a startup. <laughs> and now it's like, well, if everybody's working remote, you know, how does that kind of kind of transform how we recruit um, I guess one thing I would say that we're really proud of and that we, um, uh, is unique to engage is we have a pretty, um, uh, open and, and, and f I guess, um, hilarious culture. You know, we really are not, we don't take ourselves too seriously. And I don't know if that's what, if we, it's kind of just the way we were founded. Um, we came out of the oil field. We came from our FRs into being a software company and had no idea what um, what a native app even meant. Yeah. Right. I don't even know what new <laughs> the word native meant. And well, now you know, when you say it, you sound like you know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. You right. right. You're definitely a learning <laughs> a steep learning curve. Um, but I think that's the that's the sort of the power of our team too is that boots on the ground knowledge. Um, you know, our 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 senior sales engineer he worked same as you, Colin. He was a workover rig foreman for a number of years. Um, I think that was what your history was, right? Were you working close? With yeah, close, close enough. Us. Um, and, you know, rigs. that's how we've built our team is really plucked, um, just cool people out of the field that, um, can speak the language and, um, interface with our clients from that perspective. And, uh, we, uh, we have a, we have an awesome culture. And so competing is one thing. Um, but I think it really is only on the engineering side and, Denver's a good spot. I think for that's it. pretty interesting. You know, when you look at companies like Engage or Corva, and there's a handful of others that are software tech companies, but they have heavy emphasis on mm -hmm. plugging out smart field hands. And so you bring that, you know, that oil field culture into a tech startup. It's a pretty unique uh, thing when you mash up those two types of cultures. Can that backfire? Yeah. <laughs> we've, uh, yeah, like, I'm not gonna call get, out. Get I'm not gonna call company. any names, yeah, but there, get there's been fist fights. <laughs> We're a software company, and there's been fights. Yeah, <laughs> it's at that level. I mean, th the person who works for us, he's from Louisiana. I'm calling you out. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, it's... Um, That's my type of company. Though. Yeah, we're, uh, we have an MMA, <laughs> MMA cage now, so if they want to throw down... We, we can. can well, yeah. Sanction As, as he puts it, if you're going to fight, you fight for real, and we'll go up behind the shack. So, no, I mean, it's, it did is you, did interesting. You, did you happen to see our idea for Kettle Guard Throwdown? No, I have not. Man, it's the best <laughs> fucking idea I've ever come up with first off, so... You know, when you're out in the oil field, if you want to fight someone, you tell them to meet you at the cattle guard. And that's like, hey, what if we just got all these oil field hands that think that they're badasses to fight each other? So made up a poster called Cattle Guard Throwdown. We were going to do it in Midland, and we just teased it. And we got so much reaction. I mean, people wanting to sponsor. So you're you're going to be Joe Rogan, up. and you're going to be Dana yeah. White? Or, like, yeah. who's, who's playing yeah. what? Well, I think, we're gonna have, I think we're going to have Jeremy <laughs> Funk uh, commentate it just because <laughs> Jer like, Jeremy's got the commentator thing down. But anyways, and COVID happened. And you couldn't pu can pull it off. So we couldn't pull it off. But trust me, it's, it's <laughs> still there in the back of my mind. We're going to make it happen. So if you got your guys uh, engaged that just need to like blow off some steam, it's like, hey, man. I like it. This down. guy calls himself like Wolverine coming out of northern Alberta. He's going to be fighting uh, <laughs> Joe coming out of West Virginia. <laughs> He's wearing overalls, no shirt. <laughs> that's like, that's – I mean, that's that's the oil field types yeah. of fights that you see, like no teeth, no fingers, just punching each other. So what do you need those for? Yeah, like actually, our operations team is probably our most pure oil field. I mean, we got we got guys with you know tattoos of fire on their fists. So to your point, um, absolutely, there's a. I think there's just a huge component too, and and there's respect associated with, especially a technology and engage where. Um, you know, are we going to be the reason that people lose their jobs or are we going to be the reason that, 
you know, workflow changes and, and that person becomes obsolete in a sense. And, you know, we, we preach, um, that this is not a replacement. This is a retool. So many of these guys, so many of these ladies that are coming out of those field positions are some of the smartest in our industry and not, you know, not to downplay it, but they're, um, they want the technology just as much and mm-hmm. they've just never been given the opportunity to learn that side and, and to learn that, you know, be, be that component in the business. And that's t- tools like engage and any of these other field tools, that's, t- it's just changing it. You yeah. know, you, you have to be able to adapt and, and you're seeing a lot of ideas and information now get back to corporate that probably never were because now these people are, um, engaging software. Yeah. 